Trifoletti. Dr. Trifoletti, any, any update on the pandas research that you've been doing? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, some early results on uh, some of the children. I can tell you that uh, they are testing uh, positive for, uh, 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 each one is testing for either uh, streptococcus or mycoplasma, which is our known uh, triggers of the, uh, the pandas pans uh, syndrome. Now, I assume, I assume you're testing for immunological activity uh, of those having been exposed. So, so how do we distinguish between sort of routine environmental exposure and something that would cause pandas? Uh, well, uh, in fact, follow-up studies may be needed to determine whether, uh, whether there's an, a rise in titers. Uh, but uh, these are uh, tests that uh, would uh, normally be accepted as uh, showing evidence of either streptococcal carriage or uh, mycoplasma exposure. Okay, so let me, for people out there that are first coming to this program, help you understand that what PANDAS is, is a post-infectious autoimmune disturbance, meaning your immune system attacks parts of your brain, and immunological titers, meaning these antibodies we can test in the blood, go up, and they can change with time. That's what we're, Dr. Trifletti and I are discussing right now. And Dr. Trifletti has believed this entire thing might be an infectious outbreak. And as I hear you talk tonight, Dr. Trifletti, that would be your provisional impression. That's right. Uh, I think that's one of the main factors and probably the most easily reversed factor here. And uh, we're already uh, talking to the families about starting treatment based on this. Which would be an extended course of antibiotics, I presume? A uh, course of antibiotics and possibly corticosteroids as well. Okay, very interesting. Are you working with Dr. Meckler's team? No. Oh, boy. I, are you having any communication with them? Not yet. I, I, I hope that becomes a collaborative effort because, boy, it's having two, whoo, could be tough for those pa the patients when uh, competing opinions of uh, doctors don't sort of collaborate on these things. But thank you, Dr. Trifoletti. I really do appreciate this, uh, this input and sharing it with us. And I, and I hope this does bear fruit. I mean, my goodness, wouldn't that be nice to know that this ends up being not an environmental phenomenon? And uh, yeah, I watch, I'm watching uh, my stage manager, Dave, here, and uh, some of the cameramen shake their head. Yeah, what a relief that would be if we have an answer. But uh, it's very difficult to nail down pandas. Do you, what do you guys think of that? You're a nurse. You, you, I I think that it makes more sense to me than the conversion disorder because I know my daughter and I know that she's, she doesn't have the um, symptoms of conversion disorder. She's never had anything traumatic in her life that broke the camel's back. As well, you've say. had a lot of operations. Do you mind me sharing this? That, that no, maybe that was somehow something that really got through to her in ways you weren't aware of. Yeah. It'd be tough to have mom yeah. having operations. I mean, you're fine, obviously, right. but, well, but I'm but, still sick. But I it might have scared yeah. her and caused yeah. something. Lana, your daughter have any serious trauma, stresses in her life? No. So for you, it's a, that would be mysterious. Yeah, she's had a lot of um, strep throat So she has issues. had these infections. Um, and a year ago, November, this past November, she had her uh, tonsils taken out. So, the, so clearly she has had strep. The question will be, did, did the strep cause this? So her titers will be up for sure. Mm -hmm. The question is, she'd be somewhat at risk for it. Again, to explain to people we're talking about, this panda syndrome is something that we used to see back in the days of uh, rheumatic fever and scarlet fever all the time. It was called St. Vitus dance or Sydney's chorea. People mm -hmm. would get these weird movements after strep infections because it would attack the brain after a prolonged infection. Dr. Sharp, let me go back out to you. Uh, what do you think? So we've got the pandas now. We've got conversion being diagnosed by Meckler's team. We've got two different doctor groups treating patients. It, it's getting a little confusing for patients. What do we do for them? We get everyone talking. We definitely have a consolidated treatment group. I think you're so right that Dr. Trifoletti ought to work with Dr. Meckler and try to coordinate the care. And we want to focus on treatment. You know, psychiatry can offer support. So if this is emotional distress, that should be factored into treatment. If the emotional distress is primary in terms of causing it, then obviously that should be factored into treatment. Cognitive behavioral therapy is included in PANIS treatment, as well as in tick treatment, as well as in the treatment of conversion disorder. I want to see these girls in frequent, constant treatment to get them better. So again, supportive caretakers, maybe specific kinds of psychiatric methodologies involved will help. And we've all been thinking here, sort of a mixed bag here, maybe environment, maybe panda, maybe, maybe conversion. So in any of those cases, the, what Dr. Sharp is talking about would be helpful. Would you guys be willing to participate in those kinds of treatments? 
psychiatric yeah. uh, counseling? Well, whatever, whatever. Dr. Sharp started talking about ways of managing being sick, really, right, or right, actual right, specific right. therapy for conversion. No, my daughter is seeing a counselor Good. to oh, help her seen... deal with her sickness. Okay. And, and Lana? I, most definitely. I mean, it's I a very stressful be. time in the community. It would be helpful, I would Absolutely, think, whether or not the conversion. Everybody. Right. Yes. Whether they convert. You seem very comfortable with that. I mean, you're a nurse. It's something yeah. That, yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable with yeah. going both ways, but I still feel that, you know, she had mono a year and a half ago. we got to keep looking. I, I, well, listen, I, the, we're, you see we are. We're, we're, we're going to stay with it until we come up with some harder answers. We appreciate it. So, ladies, uh, uh, Lana and uh, Beth, thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Sharp, thank you for that input. And of course, Dr. Trifletti, thanks for sharing your results. Up next, more about what might be causing